Think of your favorite song. What memories does it bring to mind? Music helps bring joy to our lives, and it has a tendency to get stuck in our heads. But just how stuck can it get? It turns out that music's deep connection to memory can sometimes be used to help treat Alzheimer's patients. Imagine this, you're lying on your back in bed with a pair of headphones on, listening to your favorite song by one of your favorite artists. You start feeling a slight tingling sensation in your head. This is your brain's response to music called Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, or ASMR. ASMR is often considered a natural buzz, and some even call it a head orgasm. But how does this relate to Alzheimer's disease and dementia? It turns out ASMR is very special. Research shows that the part of your brain responsible for ASMR isn't lost to Alzheimer's. In one study, researchers created personalized playlists of meaningful songs for patients and scanned the patients' brains to see what regions lit up when they listened to the music. They also scanned the patients' brains as they sat in silence and compared the results. They found that music activated the patients' minds and caused different parts of their brains to communicate with one another. People suffering from Alzheimer's are confused easily because of their failing memories, unfamiliar surroundings, and difficulty communicating with or understanding others. However, exposure to their favorite music can often produce a positive reaction and can actually lift them out of their fog of confusion if only for a short time. While this is by no means a cure for Alzheimer's, it may be used in treatments and help make patients with mental deterioration feel more comfortable. And the connection between music and our brains goes much deeper than ASMR. Music can change your brain functions and structure when consistently engaged with over a long period of time. These changes correlate with improvements in certain motor and auditory skills. One area where these structural changes occur is in the hippocampus. This is an area of the brain involved in learning and memory. Neurogenesis, which is the formation of new neurons, is a critical process for learning and memory. This process, enhanced by musical practice, is also an important process of the hippocampus. Musicians have been found to have a larger corpus callosum. This is the band of nerve fibers that transfers information between the two hemispheres of the brain. This increase in size indicates that the two sides of a musician's brain are better at communicating with each other. Researchers also found that musicians have an enhanced ability to integrate sensory information from hearing, touch, and sight. If you want to maximize these benefits, it's best to start early. The age at which musical training begins affects brain anatomy as an adult. Beginning training before the age of 7 has the greatest impact. Playing a musical instrument is a multi-sensory and motor experience that creates motions and emotions and engages pleasure and reward systems in the brain. Intense musical training generates new processes within the brain and has a range of impacts on creativity, cognition, and learning. These insights could potentially lead to new roles for musical training. Music can be used for fostering plasticity in the brain, used as an alternative tool in education, and be used in treating a range of learning and neurodegenerative disabilities. Thank you.